Hey guys, just finished the last act for the night, Fanny Lumsden. Bit more simple than the other two. We had double bass, NT2A again, just to capture that low end. Works really well, pointed towards the bridge. Um, rejects most of the other sound out the other side with the cardioid pattern. So that works really well on double bass, really round and nice. We just had snare, so no drum kit this time. It was brushes too. So I had the NT6 on a clamp. Worked really well, just picking up those nice subtle strokes the drum was putting down. We had S1 on vocals again. Once again, just to hone it in and you know reject all the other sound around with that tight cardioid pattern. And being a live condenser, it kind of brings out a bit more presence in the voice, which is works really well in the mix. The girl singing was also playing guitar. NT5, once again, just to hone in on that sound. Just off the 12th fret, best place to mic up acoustic guitars. Lastly, we had the banjo in the back corner there. And once again, the same as with the first two bands, I use the NT3. Just, I find it my favorite road mic to use on banjo. It just kind of captures the whole frequency range that the banjo gives off, you know, nice mids, tiny bit of low end, and most importantly, that presence you get from the picking. Just pointed to the side, below the fretboard, at the side of the drum skin. And that was it, it was a good day.